good morning students in first lecture we see the primary introduction of coordination chemistry and terms which are involved in coordination chemistry now we are going to see the first theory of coordination compounds which is very primitive theory and generally the coordination compounds can be studied very rapidly after this theory so generally the werner's theory of coordination compound is the starting of the study of coordination compounds this theory was given alfred werner he was a swiss scientist in 1893 he proposed his theory of coordination compound later on it is termed as werner's theory of coordination compounds werner explained the formation of compounds in which the number of bonds formed by the central metal atom is greater than the expected from usual valency consideration and also introduced the concept of auxiliary valency the compound studied in this theory where cocl3 6 nh3 fecl2 4 kcl ptcl4 6 nh3 in 19 13 werner was awarded by nobel prize in chemistry he is also called as father of coordination chemistry due to this theory he is awarded nobel prize and also called as father of coordination chemistry postulates of werner's theory postulates that is assumptions of this theory are in coordination compound most of the metal show the two types of valency that is primary valency and secondary valency primary valency are ionizable and are satisfied by negative ions only secondary valency are non ionizable and satisfied by negative or neutral molecules or ligands corresponds to the coordination number the attachment of primary valency ligands to the metal ion are shown by dotted lines while the secondary valency ligands are shown by thick lines in each compound coordination number of metal atom is satisfied next every central metal atom have fixed number of secondary valencies that number is known as coordination number the number of ligands attached by coordinate bond to the central metal atom is a coordination number of that metal atom and it is the secondary valency number fourth one coordinated ligands secondary valency are formed firmly held to the central atom while other atoms are not firmly held for example co nh3 6 cl3 the nh3 ligands are firmly held while cl minus ions are not firmly held by cobalt fifth secondary valency ligands are arranged in a definite direction in space around the central atom or ion and determines geometry and stoichiometry of the compound primary valency are non directional for example cn4 the four secondary valency are directed in space for the four corners of the tetrahedron or at the four corners of the square planar werner's coordination theory of compounds were explained the bonding primary and secondary valency oxidation state coordination number and structure of the coordination compounds he studied a series of compound that is cocl3 6nh3 cocl3 5nh3 cocl3 4nh3 and cocl3 3nh3 
by physical and chemical methods. He studied these compounds and he used the molar conductance value to determine the number of ions in these compounds. Molar conductance depends on the number of ions. That is, more number of ions shows higher molar conductance. In chemical method, Cl minus ion was precipitated by excess of AgNO3 to determine the number of ionizable Cl minus ions for each compound. From the stoichiometric precipitation of AgCl gives the idea about the ionizable Cl minus ion in each compound. See the first reaction COCl3 6 NH3 when treated with excess of AgNO3 it gives only the precipitate of thrice AgCl that means there is only the three Cl's are ionizable. Second reaction COCl3 6 NH3 treated with AgNO3 it gives twice of AgCl. Third one is the COCl3 4 NH3 when treated with the excess of AgNO3 it gives the single AgCl precipitate and fourth compound that is COCl3 thrice NH3 when treated with excess of AgNO3 it does not give any precipitate. See the complex the number of ions precipitated the number of ions shown and the conductance and the modern formation that is the formula particularly of this compound can be written in that fashion see six cocl3 6 nh3 number of ionizable cl's are three there are four number of ions second compound cocl3 5 nh3 two cl minus are ionizable number of ions are three cocl3 4 nh3 number of ionizable cl's are one two ions are present COCl3 thrice NH3 it does not have any ionizable Cl it shows the single ion CO NH3 thrice Cl3 it is non ionizable compound in all these compounds a central metal at iron cobalt showed secondary valency is the 6 the primary valency or oxidation state of cobalt in is 3 the structure of each compound was drawn that satisfied both primary and secondary valency the compound cocl3 6 nh3 can be written as co nh3 thrice square bracket complete cl3 and cocl3 5 nh3 can be written as co NH35 Cl square bracket complete Cl2 and COCl3 4 NH3 and COCl3 thrice NH3 can be written as CO NH34 Cl2 square bracket complete Cl and CO NH3 thrice Cl3 square bracket complete. We see the uh, formula of these compounds can be written in different fashion in which the elegance can satisfy primary as well as the secondary valencies depending on the postulates and this formula we have the structure of these compounds that structure will be satisfy the primary as well as the secondary valencies see the compound a the structure of co nh3 6 cl uh, square root complete cl3 see here the dotted lines Cl's are attached which will be satisfied the primary valency while the NH6 NH3 ligands are shown by thick lines they can satisfy the secondary valency. See in the com compound B the structure of CO NH35 Cl square bracket complete Cl2. Here one Cl can satisfy the primary as well as the secondary valency. So it is shown by the dotted as well as the thick line. Then remaining two Cl's they can satisfy only primary valency and so shown by dotted lines while the remaining 5 NH3 they can satisfy only secondary valency and so shown by the thick lines see the structure third C here two CLs can satisfy the primary as well as secondary valency 
one CLs can satisfy the primary valency only. So two CLs can be shown by the thick as well as dotted line. One CL can be shown by the dotted lines only, and remaining four NH3 ligands can be shown by the thick lines. They can satisfy only the secondary valency, and structure is <coughs> like that. See the fourth that is CO NH3 thrice CL3. Here all CL can satisfy the primary as well as the secondary valency. So here all three CLs are shown by dotted as well as the thick line and three NH3 ligands, amine ligands can show only the secondary valency. So they can shown by only thick lines. Thus we have the satisfied structures according to the postulates. And Werner gives the idea about the how you can write the formula for the coordination compound and how you can draw the structure, how you can show the attachment of the ligand to the central metal atom. Either it can satisfy the primary valency or secondary valency. In structure A, we see that there are the particularly three seals are primary, primary valency while 6 NH3 can show the secondary valency and structure is according to. Werner explains the compare uh, Werner explained the particularly primary as well as the secondary valency and also he can stated that for the coordination compounds there are the first coordination sphere as well as the second coordination sphere. So we are going to see the, what is the first coordination sphere and what is the second coordination sphere. The ligands which are present or which can satisfy the secondary valency, they are present in the first coordination sphere. And the ligands which can satisfy the primary valency, they are present in the second coordination sphere. When uh, we can write the formula, at that time we have the separation of the first coordination sphere and second coordination sphere by the square value. The ligand which are present in the first coordination sphere, they are enclosed in square bracket and the remaining ligands or ions which are not present in the first coordination sphere, they are shown out of the square bracket. And so we are going to see the first coordination sphere and the second coordination sphere. For example, CO NH3 6 Cl3. See in square bracket, CO and 6 NH3 they are present in the first coordination sphere while three CLs are present in the second coordination sphere. See first one, it is presented in first coordination sphere, while CL3 it represent in the second coordination sphere. Square bracket, it is shown inside the square bracket. The material or the ligands which are present in the first coordination sphere, they are shown in the square bracket, while the outside the square bracket, there are the CL. Second, first coordination sphere, the ions are ionized, non-ionizable, while the ions or the ligands which are present in the second coordination sphere, they are ionizable. It is directly bonded with the central metal atom and the secondary, they are not directly attached to the central metal atom. Stereochemistry of complexes, that is coordination complexes, in coordination compounds, the stereochemistry depends on the coordination number and a position of ligand in space which decide the structure or geometry of the compound. For example, if coordination number is 4, then the ligands are directed towards the four corners of the tetrahedron or a square and complex shape may be tetrahedral or square dinner. If coordination number <coughs> ligands are directed towards the corner of the octahedron, the shape of the complex is octahedral. The geometry of the coordination number 4 and 6 are uh, represented as see tetrahedral coordination number 4, M is the metal and L is the ligand. Second square planar here coordination number four there are four ligands at the four corners of the square planar and the octahedral coordination number six there are the six corners at each corner there are the ligands but four ligands and central metal atom they are in one plane 
one ligand is above the plane and one ligand below the plane and thus it can form the octahedral geometry thank you